This is called the ledge jump. It's arguably the most difficult maneuver to pull off in the game. It puts the Widowmaker sky shot to shame. <laughs> now some of you may already know about this maneuver or not, but what may not be obvious is that this was done on a controller. Welcome everyone, today I'm going to attempt to improve your Genji on console. So I'm going to assume you know the basics of Genji's kit and maybe a few tricks. With that, I'm going to start with changing your buttons around. In order to be an efficient Genji, you need to be able to jump and shuriken comfortably and reliably. So here are my suggestions. Switch your secondary shurikens to R1 or RB, freeing up your L2 or left trigger for your jump button. Keep your swift strike on L1 or LB and assign your deflect to L3 or the left stick. Keep your melee on the R3 or right stick since for Genji it's very important for dealing out damage. Now I want you to think of Genji as a finisher. Yes, he can get kills on his own, but where he really excels is finishing off weak targets. So if you have a good McCree, Farah, Hanzo, etc, any of the hard hitters that might leave an enemy weak, Genji is great for going in for the finish before they get away or heals. YouTuber Lonehawk just made an amazing advanced Genji guide going into further detail of Genji's role and how to use him effectively that I highly recommend you watch if you want to take your Genji to the next level. I'll leave a link in the description. I will also summarize here. There are two main playstyles of Genji that are used by the world's best Genji players. You either attack the enemy backline or attack from your team's backline. The idea of attacking the enemy's backline is probably what you think. Just like with Tracer, you want to be an annoyance and harass them by going for the healers, without being taken out. Now the idea of attacking from your team's backline is really just poking at the enemy until you see the first low target and then you dash in to finish them off. Move on to the next one if possible, or go back to your team's backline. Use your best judgment whether it would be safe to stay in the middle of your enemies fighting them or returning to your team's backline. You actually can switch between these two methods throughout the match depending on what the team needs. Usually you switch depending on if they have a Winston or not. If you do find yourself in a 1v1, you want to keep double jumping while being right above them, throwing shurikens and meleeing. This will be easier now that you have switched your buttons around. Okay, so now back to the ledge jump. The way it works is that you aim your reticule right at the ledge while in the air. Swift strike towards it while holding the jump button and forward on your joystick. As soon as you reach the ledge, release the jump button and let yourself launch. Now here are some things to keep in mind. You need to hit the ledge mid swift strike. It can be difficult to tell when the swift strike actually ends, but you'll get used to the distance required over time. Next you need to release the jump button right after you see Genji's hands come up to try to climb. Think of it as you're a flat stone skipping across the water. You need to just barely touch the ledge, but still just enough so that your hands come up to climb and instead launch yourself by quickly releasing the jump button. You have to press then let go of the jump button so fast that you are basically hitting the swift strike and jump button at the same time. Remember to also hold forward on the joystick for this to work as well. Technically you can use this at even a horizontal angle but the idea is to launch yourself really high so you need to choose a ledge that's above you. Go into a custom game and set the ability cooldowns to zero. Once you get the rhythm set the cooldowns back to normal and get used to that. Well that's my Genji video for consoles, I hope this helps improve your Genji game. If it did, feel free to let me know in the comments below. If you use a different button layout than this one or the default, let me know. Well, that's it for today guys, if you enjoyed the video be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.